Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Today's a busy day uh, for me. I have some yard work to get done. And so I thought I would cook a real simple little dinner for tonight. And I haven't shown this on my videos because it's so simple. But sometimes people just like to see simple. So that's what I'm going to show you. Today is a crock pot meal. So get out your crock pots. This is just one that I have. I have a smaller one and uh, this is kind of more my medium sized one. Um, so I'm going to use it today. And what am I going to make? Well, in going with the store and having everything so dang expensive, um, I tried hard, I really did, to find a nice roast for like a little pot roast. No, that was not an option. So sometimes I get these already in a package. Now they come beef or they come pork. This one happens to be a pork one. So, so simple. But I am going to jazz it up just a little bit. So, you open up the package. And in the package, and this is from Tyson. And it'll say right on there, slow cooker. It really will. You probably could put this in your Instapot if you want to. But again, I haven't done a video showing the crock pot method of things where you just put it all in, put the lid on it, and walk away for several hours until you're ready. So today, that's what I'm going to do. So in my little packet comes... Uh, they're suction sealed in here for freshness of uh, the vegetables. We get a little seasoning packet and of course we get the meat right here. The meat. And I am going to need a pair of scissors so I'll grab that right quick. You should know me by now. I don't lay everything out. There's always something that I forget. There really is. Okay, so we'll start with the meat. On here and I don't know whether the package says it might let me read here always my husband says did you read the instructions oh heavens no, <laughs> no. Oh, I did not uh, it's not really saying it's just saying three pounds um, I don't know if that's three pounds of meat or not I, I really have no idea but we will cut it open here and I don't want all of the juice Grab something on that too. For that not to come out all over my kitchen floor of all the juice. Well, excuse me for a minute. Well, we all have interruptions, don't we? That's my landline I talk about every now and then. But yes, I have a regular telephone in my um, kitchen plus my cell phone. And every now and then it goes off. <laughs> and it's loud. <laughs> Okay, so back to what I was doing here of showing you um, the meat. So I did take this over to my sink and I like to rinse off all of, it has a little bit of blood and stuff in there. So I just kind of rinse all that off. And then you take it out. So if this is three pounds, it's three pounds. It kind of looks like it to me. And it's just a piece of meat, you know, as far as your pork. Okay, so we're gonna put that down in there. Now, if this was the beef one, Lots of times I have taken the same thing of this package and I I do just like a regular roast where I take it over and I put it in um, either a Dutch oven uh, pot or a skillet and I brown the meat. I really do because it gives that nice flavor in the crock pot. It's really, really nice. Okay, so I have the meat in and now let's see what kind of vegetables because sometimes you get not, some of them nice and sometimes it's like, is that all I'm going to get? You know, that's it. Okay, so we'll open the sealed package here. And inside here we have, uh, of course, the potatoes, carrots, celery, and an onion. All right, so in the package, they only gave me two <laughs> little pieces of the celery. Well, of course, I want more than that. So let's start with the potatoes. Now, you can keep them whole like this. But really, I like to cut them in half. I, I just think they cook better in my crock pot. So I'll go ahead and just slice up the potatoes in here. Slice them all up in half. Cut them in two. Not cut them half in two, just cut them in two. <laughs> Grandma's expression. I just cut it half in two. Drove my dad nuts. Okay, so one of them has a little imperfection in here, and I'm just going to cut that out. I have one son that he would have just thrown the whole 
potato away and there's no need for that. See, it's all gone. Don't go see that little guy anymore. Nope, the potato is still fine. Okay, there's all the potatoes in here. The carrots are okay, you know, there's a, there's enough carrots in here. Now this will make for um, two to four people of servings, it really will. Here's my uh, white onion that they have put in here. And again, I'm just going to help it along by cutting it into the quarters. Crockpots are crockpots. You know, you put it all in, like I said, and you walk away. So there's that. Now I'm thinking, okay, it's only two. So, okay. I bring out some more celery. Because I like celery. I think it gives it a nice flavor. So I'm going to add one. Actually, let's just add two stalks, stalks of uh, the celery. Just going to add those. Cut it just about the same size as what they gave in the package. All right. Got that in there. Now, the seasoning packet right here, which says it has all kinds of little spices in here, and that's fine. Get this open. But again, I'm going to help mine along a little bit here. Get this open. And you just sprinkle that all onto the top part. That part's done. Let's see if I can't put this up here so you can see it just a little bit more because I'm to this stage now. What else am I going to add to mine? I'm going to add one beef bouillon cube because I didn't brown the meat. I'm just going to give it just a little bit more flavor. These are the ones that come in the little red square packages here, the little foil packages. And I like them. I've, I've used these things forever. Either beef or chicken. So I just put one of those in there. Okay. I am going to add some salt. I will add some pepper. And of course, pepper gets some of those. <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> that happened to you? I'm sure it has. <laughs> I'm sure it has. Now, if you had uh, either pork or the um, beef stock, you certainly could put that in, but I'm just going to add water to mine. There's kind of a little line on my crock pot that I go to, but I want to cover everything very well. I really do. So I'll go about like that. Now, I'm going to cover it. Of course, it is on high on my temperature down here. And I'm just going to walk away and leave it alone until dinner time. And so when that rolls around, I'll be back and I will show you what a nice little dinner that I've got in my crock pot. Crock pots are great for just about everything. But remember, <clears throat> before the crock, or after the crock pot came the instant pot. And those are great too because it's so quick and easy. And if you want to take all of this package and put in an instant pot, you certainly can do that and have dinner just like that. You really can. But I'm going to slow cook this one today because I'm not in any hurry. I said I've got a ton of things to do out in the yard and that's kind of my day. So I hope you've enjoyed this part of my video. I'll either pop back on and show you how to get it all out or I'll just show the picture at the end one way or the other. It's from my kitchen to yours. So I hope you have a good day today. Catch you next time on Cooking with Carol Diane.